So there are discrepancies about the Scoville heat rating on these. Fantastic. Uh, Justin Lonnie. Yes. This is an atomic starfish pepper. I have no words. <laughs> <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> so the second that I heard of this pepper, I was like, I heard the name of it, and like that is the coolest sounding pepper ever. Well, and mm -hmm. I'm going to be growing that immediately. So I grew these peppers this year. Okay. Um, I it was actually a pretty bad like harvest season for yeah. me, I guess you could say. It was just been super dry. Man. Yeah. And I just didn't get. We a had lot. a very dry summer. I just didn't get a humongous harvest. So I, I mean, some of my other peppers, I grew. I, I mean, I grew like habaneros. I grew poblanos. Um, like green bells, things like that. A lot of normal peppers, but um, I actually got a pretty good harvest of these atomic starfish. Uh, so of course we're going to be trying them today. Okay. Um, it's it's just a cool pepper, man. Um, so I don't know too too much about it. Okay. So it's a Brazil okay Brazilian starfish pepper. Um, and it's I mean it's going to be hot, but it's not going to like annihilate you. Uh, Scoville heat units is uh, ten thousand to thirty thousand Scoville on here okay. with a median heat of. Uh, 20,000. So it's going to be way hotter than a jalapeno, but we're not even talking habanero. No, here. no habanero level. Um, it's originally from Peru. Um, it's, okay, it's 12 times hotter than a jalapeno is what they're saying. So jalapeno reference scale is this website. This is from uh, pepperscale.com. And so they're saying nearly 12 times hotter than a jalapeno. So, okay. It's got culinary and ornamental uses. Its size are one to two inches long, and they're squat. So this is I've about, never seen a pepper shaped like this. I know it's, it's interesting. It's, it's smaller, yeah. like different shaped, odd. And they and they grow they grow vertically like this. Really? Yeah. So it looks like a it looks like a cherry. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it looks like cherry. Um, the fla so mine's mine are about one inches. Um, so flavor is sweet and fruity. Uh, okay, describing the Brazilian starfish is uniquely shaped, maybe doing it a disservice in the looks department. This one is a beautiful a beautiful chili with a shape much like a sea star. Um, and it, it looks, it is just a cool looking pepper. Good color on it. Um, it's got, it is a lovely quirkiness sort of an unexpected but well appreciated twist of the typical rounded chili. And because of that, it works very well as an ornamental pepper. But unlike many ornamentals, this sacrifice nuanced taste for looks. The Brazilian starfish is simply delicious. They are sweet, almost fruity, with an established level of heat for most people. Packing looks and flavor makes this chili pepper well sought after by spicy foodies and gardeners alike. Um, so there are discrepancies about the Scoville heat rating on these. Fantastic. Uh, some say it's mild chili, others say it reaches the high end of cayenne pepper heat, which is 50,000 Scoville. We say it falls somewhere in between. Uh, the Brazilian starfish peppers are typically hotter than a jalapeno, but they don't tend to reach um, uh, the hotter levels of cayenne pepper. Um, they pack closer to a serrano pepper heat with the chances of a little bit more. The heat does tend to creep up on you, more of a slow burn than a fast bite. So I'm interested to see if our experience is exactly how that describes. Yeah. So I haven't tasted these peppers yet, but I am going to, I'm going to cut them in half and see what they look like on the inside. They, it cut like it was thick mm -hmm. the, by the sound of that cut sound. So yeah, they are definitely kind of thick on the inside. So this is what they look like on the inside of them. Uh, which one do you want? You're going to take those. Okay. <laughs> There's way more stuff going on the inside of mine. It's your channel. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the cool. Well, I'm, I'm excited about the size of this thing. because I mean, it's, it smells like a, like a green or red pepper. Like I can smell a little bit of heat in mine. See, I'm, it just smells like a... Like a it smells delicious. Though. It does. It smells super fruity. It smells like it'd be a good addition to like anything. Like, I'm almost get. I get a little bit of the aroma of like something a little bit hotter than what this is supposed to be. Like, I think it's hot. And like, what sucks is I'm a texture guy, and I think it's gonna be thick. I mean, it's gotta good have a good crunch to it, man. Well, I'm like, cool with that. Look how thick it is, like in the back of it. Dude, it, okay, yeah, you're right. It's like solid on so, the sides. Thick walled. Yeah, pepper. that's like, exactly a, what it is. It's a thick walled pepper. Yeah. It's gonna have a good bite to it. Okay. Anyways, let's do it, man. Cheers. I'm going the whole thing. Hot. It's the texture for me. It's very fruity. I got the whole thing down. I understand the creeper. It's creeping. <coughs> I'm down. <laughs> I don't like the texture of it. <laughs> I don't like the texture of it. Um, okay. It's a tough chew. Very fruity. Extremely Dude, fruity. This would be super good yeah. in like to make like a pico out of it. 
Like, if you chop this thing up and put it in, like, a pico de gallo, like, that would be a wonderful. Dude, you could make a mango salsa and add this to the mango salsa because it's got this, like, fruity vibe to it. It does have a fruity vibe. It's all mouth burn. It's all mouth burn. It's Under my tongue is really hot. Dude, I almost got, like, a stinging, like, a like a numbing sensation on the out, like, a, the sides of my tongue and almost the tip of my tongue. It's almost Stingy. Numb. Yeah. It's, like, stingy numbness, but it's not, it's, I mean... This is a this is a it's a cool heat like an interesting heat. I think it's plateaued on me too. It's definitely plateaued on me too. Okay, I think it's plateaued. As far as heat scale, I don't know. Like ten. A five. A five. Yeah. Maybe a six. I'm gonna say it's a three for me. I figured you'd be a little bit lower. Yeah, I think it's a three on my heat scale. Um, it's a it's a very enjoyable heat though. Like, I can tell it's gonna be a controlled burn. Like it's not gonna like wreck me or anything like and I'm willing to bet by the time I walk out of this room it'll pretty much be gone mm -hmm. Dude, making I'm, me salivate a lot too yes I'm, I'm salivating a I'm lot I'm definitely salivating a lot with the pepper too um it's so interesting I definitely think I actually really enjoyed it you didn't you had a hard time with the texture of it I actually really enjoyed the texture of it do you it. remember what happened to me last time I ate the pepper on your channel I do I ended up over there off camera <laughs> yes you did um so uh, I definitely think that this would be like best chopped fresh into things. I agree. You know, I agree. Like I, I, I can't get over that like pico. Like I, I would put this into like a mango salsa, a pico de gallo, things like that. Um, a fruitier, it, sweeter salsa. Would abs be absolutely, incredible. I think it would just work so perfect with that. I, I can't even like fathom any other like um, that's a, application. I, like it when just I smelled it. that. I thought it would be good in like fajitas or something like that, but like it's not. It's not that after I, I eat it. I, th I mean, it, it could be good like sautéed a little bit, but I, I think that like to maximize the flavor potential of that pepper, it'd be best to have it whole, not whole, but have it raw. Yep. It's got a great, great texture to it. Okay, that was the Atomic Starfish. I love that pepper. Not uh, bad. Fruity. It was delicious. Um, it was not floral in any way when it comes to that like that potpourri scenario. Um, extremely cool pepper. I'm dis I'm dissipating. You just I'm spitting? dissipating. Dude, it's it's kind of weird. It's sticking with me. Like I'm dissipating. My the heat level in my mouth is pretty much it stayed consistent. The but I do time. have some like stuck up in like the back part of my mouth, so like it's probably not helping. <laughs> it's 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 sticking with me, man. Like I'm, I, I'm still I'm still the same I'm level of heat I've been. But um, I'm probably down I'm, like a three or four. Cool, cool pepper. Yep. Okay, in the description below is gonna be linked to Justin's. RC channel. There it is. His RC I, channel. Yeah. I was waiting. I want you to say it, man. Okay, my RC channel. Yeah. His RC channel is new. Um, he's he is crushing it. it. Is it is the most entertaining stuff in the world. So if you've not seen it, you have to do it. You're doing like backflips on. I did videos? a I did a recently did a double backflip on my latest one. There you go, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link to his RC channel in the description below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.